Here we are at 12426 Mount Pleasant Woods Drive in the 32225 area. This is a five bedroom, three bath, 2,752 square foot, built in 2003. This home is owned by Fannie Mae, bank owned home. A little view of the neighborhood. As you can see, it has two car, or excuse me, three car garage. Now, being a bank owned home, there is some uh, some work that probably needs to be done on the inside. We can also see that the uh, the bank has made an effort to do some of that work. Uh, they've repainted it, looks like, uh, possibly put new carpet in, and then there's just a few minor things that may need to be done depending on your liking. The roof, I would expect, would need to be replaced in the next five years. Some of the shingles are starting to curl up. I don't know how well this video shows with the, uh, the sun blaring down at us, but that would want to be kept in mind when making an offer. Got a stucco exterior. Landscaping's in good shape. Let's see what we got inside. So, th flooring, we've got some nice tile floor, which leads all the way to the back there. Hardwood flooring in the living room, dining room combo here. Nice high ceilings. All the flooring seems to be in good shape. I believe that may be a new light fixture there. Right, we'll go do the downstairs first and make our way upstairs here. Again, it smells like fresh paint in here. So I believe all the walls have been freshly painted. There's a little storage area there. So here we are in the family room, fireplace, this house was built in 2003, so I would have to guess at this point that the original owners were the last owners, the last people living here. We've got a nice kitchen, opens up to the family room. And then a little doorway there to take you into the dining. Got hard surface countertops. It's like a gas stove. Stainless steel appliances. Oh, well, doesn't look like the refrigerator's in. Get a little bit better view of the kitchen here. Hello. Okay, now downstairs we also have uh, two bedrooms and a full bath. Let's go into bedroom one. Carpets look to be in great shape. Okay, closet door needs to be put back up there. I guess to be technical, it's a three quarters of a bathroom. 
Just a stand up shower there. Nice little storage space. Okay. Leading us into the second bedroom downstairs. It's a decent sized little walk in closet. Okay, there's no light in there. Now this door here takes us to the garage and laundry room. A little sink there for washing. Washer dryer hookup. Looks like we've got uh, vinyl flooring in here. And then a little side door here, which needs to be closed. Okay, that takes care of the downstairs. We will go outside in the backyard in just a moment. And you see the wood flooring follows up the stairwell. And there's a carpeting from here into the additional three rooms. So you get a nice little loft area here. That'll be your master bedroom. We'll go in here first. These double doors lead you in. into the kitchen here. Nice stand-up shower. It's a nice soaker, soaking tub here. in the closet. All right. And then directly next door we have a bedroom number four. Of course we've got a nice little view here of the pool, which you'll see as you could probably see now needs to be cleaned. Nice fixtures, nice natural light coming in there. Decent size bathroom.
Let's see what's in the closet. Oh, linen closet here. And then the fifth bedroom. Also with a, I believe, a little walk-in closet here. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll make our way to the backyard. So here we have a nice little uh, summer kitchen, a covered porch area, beautiful pavers, and if, so we have a, t a jacuzzi and the pool. Again, jacuzzi's in good shape, just needs to be cleaned out. Okay. So here we have a little microwave, a refrigerator, and a grill. Your side yard here. I believe those are fruit trees. I want to say either lime or some sort of citrus. Patio definitely needs a good pressure washing, but it would come out nicely. We have some water features here attached to the pool as well. And we'll get a view of the back of the house. And lastly, the side yard. Okay, that's it.